Welcome back to The Sims 4 Growing Together. We are here still in Sydney. Or are we? <laughs> oh, that looks really weird. <laughs> So there's a little break in content because we drove from Sydney back to Melbourne, but I took a screenshot of my office before I left, so we still have nice background. But back to the good old green screen. All right, we left off here in Outdoor Retreat. Well, what's it called? Granite Falls. <laughs> I was like, what is it called again? Um, and we were working on herbalism, which I feel like we, we made some good progress. Level four, like that's actually not too bad for like that one session. We did kind of neglect the entire family though. I mean, they're alive, but is that any sort of life, you know? Uh, what I would like to do is I actually wanna, let's maybe fix their outfit, the, the kids' outfits at least. Because a lot of you guys wanna see a little, a, like a little bit of a makeover. You know, we're not gonna go too wild, but a lot of people were not super happy with Willow's hair. <laughs> well, that one's nice. Oh, do we have any new hairs? Oh, we do, what do we got? <laughs> okay, should we have <laughs> Uncle Rye's hair? Could do the top bun. Although to be fair, I kinda liked what I chose before, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I've just done a quick little selection of outfits. They're not perfect, but I think they'll do. It's some nice overalls there. We've got a little dress for formal wear. We've got this new outfit from Growing Together. We've got this little sleepwear outfit. <laughs> to be honest, had a little bit of fun with the party outfit. Because I guess if we do a slumber party, will we have party outfits? I don't know, maybe. Uh, swimwear, hot weather wear, and cold weather wear. All right, Ash, it's your turn. So I guess while I'm here, I should fix this. So here in only the cold weather wear outfit, Ash has a hearing aid. Uh, I don't know why the game just randomly puts it in specific categories. Like Koji has a hearing aid, but only in sleepwear, which as you guys pointed out, is probably the least useful place to have a hearing aid. Uh, you don't need it while sleeping, which I mean, not having any experience with hearing aids, I wouldn't have thought about, but that makes total sense. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just remove it from Koji's sleepwear. I wanna basically just put his hearing aid on at all other times. Might go for one that sort of matches a little bit better. Cause I think he had pink before. Pink's a bit of fun, but I like that a little bit better. Why are there two for this year? What's the difference? Literally don't see any difference. I'm not really sure. All right, Koji's got that on all outfits and I'll do the same for Ash here. Got a green, blue could be fun. Matches the beanie. Although I guess it won't match other outfits. All right, there we go. Now you might be wondering why this outfit looks the way it does. Well, Ash is styled after Ash Ketchum. <laughs> He's gonna catch them all. Let's go. All right, that's every day. Got formal wear. Actually, that blue looks kind of nice with that. Uh, athletic wear, sleep wear, swim wear. I guess actually probably shouldn't have it on swim wear, should you? I don't know. I'm gonna take it off. Let me know in the comments. First of all, that's not swim wear. That's party wear. So I'll put it back. Sorry. Swim wear. Oh, I already didn't have it on. That's fine. Uh, swim wear, uh, hot weather wear, and cold weather wear. Which actually, this is pretty much default. I just changed the shoes. So pretty good. Now, Koji, did I give you that in sleep? I meant in swim wear. I did. My bad. I might take that off. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we got three days remaining on our vacation rental. I think we will continue to stay here during that time. Because why not? I think we may as well. We paid for it. We definitely paid for it, so we might as well use it. We don't have a lot of money. Now, that's the next thing I got to address. So there was the pop-up last... Ep Ugh, why every time we load another baby's on the floor? Can't they just be in the cribs? Last time, Rai got a pop-up that... Um, you know what? Let, let me just bring it up. Okay, here's the offending pop-up. I did not read this last time because every time you go to work and you have the fame system on, things pop up and be like, hey, do you want fame in exchange for either usually like losing performance or even getting fired, you can get fame. Uh, though this one's a little bit different and I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen this before so I did not even think to really read it. Uh, but it says, Rai will gain fame and be promoted to the top of the comedian career. We could have like literally just jumped straight to the top. And look, whilst I am annoyed that I didn't read that properly and I just clicked no, uh, I don't think that would have been the best idea anyway. You know, for the style of this Let's Play and the story that we're trying to tell, Rai is supposed to be living with Quinn and Koji to help raise the kids. And I think if it was like a world famous top tier comedian, I don't think that really makes sense, especially for living in the treehouse. Uh, also part of the fun of not just this series, but pretty much anytime we do a new series is the struggle for money and trying to work hard and that, that I don't know. I Look, I, I, I will agree. I'm annoyed that I didn't read that. I probably should have read it, but I'm not annoyed that I didn't do it. So there you go. That, at least we've addressed the situation. It was quite a hot topic in the comments. <laughs> Who built this house? Why are there chandeliers hanging in the middle of nowhere? Whatever, I'm not fixing it. All right, all right, let's, who who needs what? All right, do we, do we have food still? Uh, what's going on down here? 
Uh, not really. Okay. Oh, no, 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 we do. We do. You're in a pretty good mood, too. We, well, it's kind of 8 p.m. We kind of probably need to go to bed, to be honest. How are these kids going, by the way? You're kind of tired. All right, do you want to put, um, put Alder to bed? And Quinn, can you put Aspen to bed? Now, Koji, what are you doing? Okay, you're going to go talk to your daughter. That's fine. What's that? Bah! <laughs> now, Willow, as the only daughter in the family, it is your sole responsibility to... Okay, goodbye. Now, we also just have to wait and see if we will win the lottery. That's going to be... <laughs> okay, if we win the lottery, that's going to completely undermine my whole point of <laughs> of not accepting the com the top comedian career position. So, look, we'll see. Uh, I might put these in the fridge so we keep those for later. Can I give them some advice? Parenting. Actually, speaking of parenting, don't you need to do... Oh, wait, we changed your thing. Hang on, let's go back to parenting. <laughs> we only did that to get some points. We need to go back to what we're actually doing. I think... Did we do super parent or were we trying to do another one? I don't really know. Discipline. I think we were doing super parent. And Koji, what are you on? You just want to write. Okay, well, whatever. All right, Quinn, do you want to come, like, talk to your child? Okay, the infants are in the cribs. So actually, if I can't remember, there was another help with needs. Is it influence, maybe? Let me say teacher, say please and thank you, because there was another way. We can also uh, tell them they did a good job, and that counts as discipline, which is really weird. All right, they're sleeping. Oh, I thought you were sleeping, Willow. Tend to slumber party. Yeah, we do need to do that, but obviously. Oh, actually, can, can you do it here? Oh! Embrace the change, new personality trait. Uh, yes, please. Let's go, family oriented. Oh, hey, Rai. Whoa! <laughs> right, three comedy routine. Oh, yeah, can, can we do that? You know, it would be helpful if we could do that here. Can I? Oh, I can't even just go to buy mode. Can I just wanted to buy a laptop? Hey, if I go, can I travel to university to buy a laptop? Oh, no, I think they cost like $4,000, don't they? I can't travel while vacationing. So we're stuck in this world, guys. <laughs> okay, Quinn gave up and just went to bed. To, to be fair, Quinn's pretty tired. All right, um,. Okay, Koji is like in a fantastic mood. I'm kind of annoyed that we don't have, there's no computer here. Like, yeah, we're on vacation, but like, wait, why don't we put the bed up? And hopefully not die in the process, hang on. Cause it's like 10 PM, so it's not really like, I, it's really annoying going out at nighttime. It's so dark, so I don't really want to wander around. Why don't we say, let's watch movie. Let's watch Super Kids Cortex Catastrophe. That sounds good. All right, everybody, it's movie time. Oh, uh, you guys, I know like, it's only like a two-seated couch, but one one other of you can sit down if you want, Mike. Oh, oh, just stand in front of me. Koji's like, what the heck? I can't, what the heck, guys? All right, there we go. Oh, actually, I didn't even realize I have the hearing out of the same side, too. That's kind of cute. Um, Willow, did you want to maybe not stand right in the way? Oh my gosh, it actually is just like Spy Kids. <laughs> Wait, was that like Shark Boy and Lava Girl? That's what it kind of looked like. And then that's definitely Dr. Robotnik. That's like Shark Boy and Lava Girl for sure. Yeah! <laughs> it's actually really cool like when you watch some of these. Like I don't often check out what's playing on the TV, but the movies from Movie Hangout stuff are actually really cool. Oh, I kind of want to know what happened. There's like actually like, oh, they're at the evil villains like There's like a sweet story here. You're going down, Dr. Robotnik, for I am Shark Boy. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. After the movie's done. Okay, no, no. Koji. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, you just go to bed. Uh, Rai's going to the toilet, which is good. At least two are doing up here. I like how we just leave the babies upstairs. <laughs> they seem fine. Do we have like a... There is a games table, but it is outside and it is raining. Is there, is there like a chess table? Like, sort of like play games together? Can I move this? Oh, I wish I could drag... Oh wait, wait, what? I... Uh oh. Oh, I track. Okay, I can drag the chair, but I can't move the table. Interesting. I guess that means you can add... Wait, I can't drag these chairs? Oh, I can probably drag this one. Yeah. So we can add more chairs, which is good, but that's about it. <laughs> you go to bed now? Yeah. Um, do you guys want to like, uh... Oh, become best friends forever, for sure. Yeah! Oh, there you go. Yeah. Your guys' needs are like really good. I guess I, I don't think it's raining anymore. How, why don't we go play... <laughs> Let's play the buck. Which I'm pretty sure... Well, first of all, it's a Star Wars thing. <laughs> oh, I don't think... Okay, they, I don't think they can play it. I was like, because I'm pretty sure Sabak is pretty much just poker. Uh, all right, let's not do that. Let's... Don't, don't make the llama. All right. <laughs> yeah, they, that's interesting. They can't, <laughs> can't play the park. All right, you guys play a game together. Quinn is having a good sleep. Infants are sleeping too. You're a little stinky. All right, we've all successfully entered the lottery, so we got a few points for free. Baby is crying. What are you crying for? Just sad from waking up. Do you want to go send the baby home from vacation? What the heck? There you go. Entertain the infant. Yeah, there you go. All right. Can I feed you? No, I don't think I can. That, that would make sense. Willow? I don't know, do you want to practice dancing? I don't know, there's, there's not much else we can do right now. It is only 2.30 in the morning, so... <laughs> yeah! Look at those moves, let's go! Gotta practice for prom early. Oh, isn't that cute? Tell a bedtime story, how about that? Actually quite hungry. Uh oh, other baby's awake. Oh boy, oh boy! It's okay, dad's coming, dad's coming. All right, Quinn, I'm gonna get you to go to the toilet and then... How do I feed this kid? Where did the feed option go? Oh, baby kid. 
All right, come on, guys. Anytime you want to move a little faster. Did you? What's going on? Come on. So, yeah, you're getting a bottle feed. Then you actually go to the toilet as well. And then you've fallen back asleep. Not really what I expected. I just sent Quinn to the toilet first because she was busting. So I did that. Oh, no, no, don't, don't bark yet. <laughs> Walk yet. Okay, I'm going to get this baby to use diaper too as well real quick. Just so we can change the diaper now. Oh, yuck. He just got peed oh. over completely. Oh. Alrighty. <laughs> Looks like another blowout. Okay, Quinn, are you gonna feed this baby, by the way? Uh, what are you doing? I literally said change diaper. The whole point of the baby using the diaper was so you could change it. Does it need a, oh, it needs a bath? Dang it. All right, <laughs> give Aspen a bath, please. Hey, kids, you want to help? Let me throw that away. All right, how about you? You also need a bath? Do we have a... We do have a bath downstairs. All right, Quinn, give uh, Alder a bath as well. All right, and then I'm going to say put... Oh, I'm going to wait till you're holding them. Okay, put Aspen down there, and then I need you to take a shower. Okay, any second now. How's this bath going? Pretty good. First bubble bath, yeah! Willow's going to give little Aspen a nice kiss. Oh, didn't seem like they were... Oh! Kind of just sneeze on her. I'm gonna give you this toy. Do you want? Okay, goodbye. Right, I was trying to. Where'd you? Why are you all the way down here? Where? Are you... Oh, it was on the floor. Right. Okay. I like how Rise is sleeping through all this. Rise just like in the living space, which is completely open. <laughs> It'd be so loud. Wait, where's the other? Oh, what the heck? What did you leave in the bathroom for? All right. Let's um, hold it to bed, please. Thank you. Okay. Hey, great reputation. Let's go. Oh, look, they're playing with the toy. And then do you want to, can we do some tummy time maybe? Oh, wrong, wrong Sim, sorry. All right, or, or not. I, I mean, I thought it might be nice. All right, I'm just going to put them to bed. All righty, Quinn. Yeah, you're starving. Let's go get some food. All right, do I have any berries I can try to identify? No, I know all these ones. So yeah, I guess the problem is uh, we probably need to come back in summertime. Uh, as you guys are pointing out, summertime is when they're all be in bloom, but that is a long way away. Like, a long way. <laughs> That's all the way down here. The other thing you guys suggested we could do is just buy these berries from the garden cart. I don't know if we can get all of them, though. Ooh, insects. Let me go get these. I'm gonna do some more exploring, a few more ingredients. Uh, jokes are dynamic with Koji and Ash. Yeah, okay, that's nice. I guess three fireflies, cool. Um, I was an unidentified fruit. Here we go. Let's go get that. There's a little bit something something here. What have we got? That's not un unidentified. It's elderberry. But wait, I can still identify it. Hang on. Does that build my skill? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wait. Now they're all identified. So maybe I could farm that. Mm, I know everything. Uh, why'd you just put that there? <laughs> Pick that up, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. So maybe are they always... Yeah, so five noxious elderberries. So if I... Are they unidentified every day? Do I harvest those? That should be these ones, right? Yeah, so if I... What if I just queue up? Because they're all unidentified. Oh, Agatha Crumble Bottom one? The lotto? Holy moly. Okay, well, that's good. We didn't accidentally get like a million simoleons. I kind of want to know how many simoleons she got. Oh, yeah, there's bugs here. All right, so if I... I just queued that up. Let's see, does that work? Oh, it cancels them all. Dang it. Okay, but I can just harvest more. Like, I can at least identify these things once. So why don't we go... What is this? Why is there a floating? Oh, it's a bat. <laughs> it's a bat. I thought it was like a floating thing. It's just... Oh, it's a vampire. Oh, and they're gone. All right. So I can brew a couple of remedies. So what I might do is get out of here, leave the family again for a little bit, because honestly, I need some mama time. Yeah, let me collect some insects while they're like right next to me. Uh, and then I'm just going to basically scout around this area. Knowingly, it doesn't really count to the skill, like collecting these insects. I kind of wish it did. Why is there a bear in my list of interactions? I can't, I, I can't get rid of this bear. It's, <laughs> go away. Oh, Sage. Do we have Sage? I probably need more of it anyway. I might harvest that. Wait, did you leave your bike over here? Yeah, my mate is going to be jogging around the world till I get my bike back. All right, let me try brewing some remedies real quick just to use up as many of these things as I can because I guess that'll help my skill. And I suppose we could also just do more reading as well. Oh, that's pretty quick. Look at that. Yeah, when you complete it. So yeah, once we complete it, it goes, oh, we're thinking about Ava. That's so sad. All right, I can brew, brew uh, tummy therapy. Well, can I? I need sage and termites as well. Yeah, you guys are saying the most annoying thing is getting the insects. Because I guess once you have all the plants, you can just grow them, right? Which we will definitely have to set up a covered garden at home. Brienne's wanting to chat. Sure, I'll, ch I'll chat. What's up, Brienne? Actually, did Brienne ever have a baby? Well, I guess they weren't necessarily having a baby, but they asked if they should have or should try. Let's see. No baby. Okay. They must have tried, but I guess it didn't didn't work. No, no. No, no. Don't, don't do any of that. Put the bike back in your inventory. Uh, oh, hello. I'm going to collect those while I'm here. Oh, hello. I'm going to collect those too. I think I'll just try going back to the hermit again. Think bugs and mosquitoes again. I feel like I've got a lot of those things. And now I can't go back in. Dang it. Unrelenting itch. Do I have a remedy for that? <laughs> I don't. Okay. 
Great. If things are going well. Oh, okay, let's just go back. Let's go back home. <laughs> Alrighty, Quinn. Uh, well, you need to sleep, uh, toilet, all that kind of stuff. You gotta use that and maybe take a shower and then go to sleep. Alright, how's everybody else? Koji's good. Rai is busting to go to the toilet as well. Sounds like there's babies crying, so. Oh, good. They're on the floor again and they're not even on their mats, so that's good. <laughs> and they're both tired. Awesome. Alright, uh, let's go put to bed and then. And kids, can I? Oops. Let's play. Oh. I've got the bug again where I don't have the tick. Dang it. How did I fix it? I think I went to, oh, I can't go to build mode. Oh, I open the gallery. There we go. I just hit save and now it works. All right, so the kids are gonna go play with the horseshoes. Quinn, I think should be going to bed. Oh no, go to the toilet shower then bed. That's right. Koji's gonna go upstairs and take care of the kids. Or at least, okay, you've fallen asleep on your face on the hardwood floors. Awesome. Really good. What's going on here? Are you, uh, no, no, put the kids to bed. <laughs> All right, Koji, I think you're gonna need to, oops, you're gonna need to sleep as well. How are the kids going outside? You good? Children, milestones, what have we got? Because we haven't really done anything. Learn to ride a bike? Well, don't, I can't get one here, which is kind of annoying. Why is first horseshoe game not, <laughs> not a first? Good for motor skills, though, so there's that. Uh, you're delighted you spent time with some random person, I don't know. Awesome. All right, kids are asleep. Quinn's asleep. Koji's asleep. Good. All right, how's Uncle Rai going? Can we, can we like do something together? Oh, it's their birthday. Okay, wait, is that today? It is. All right, so we're gonna have, wait, hang on. We're gonna have toddlers here. Hang on, we might need a, when's this vacation over? Oh, we, we still have another two days. We can't be here for another two days. I think we're gonna go home. Especially cause I've kind of run out of things to do here. All right, let's end this vacation. <laughs> I think we need to go home. No, no, end. A little bit of, I'm gonna be honest, a waste of money. We need to go home. We, we need to go back to work. I need to have these kids actually do the bikes, the slumber party, you know, maybe the growing together stuff. I think what we'll do, if we do a vacation again, I might go for like a day. Actually, one thing I wanna try do, which I think is potentially a good idea, could try changing the season to summer. Now, $1,500 is a lot of money for that right now. Um, oh, hey, Hillary. But um, I think that could actually be a good idea. All right, so let's put, the, who's holding who? Who have you got? You've got uh, Alder. All right, put Alder to sleep here. And then Koji's got Aspen. Oops, Koji, put Aspen to sleep here. And then Queen is pretty tired. So let's just go to sleep as well. We didn't even get our energy back. You guys, uh, well, you're pretty good actually. Are you gonna go eat some birthday cake? All right, whatever. All right, let's just, uh, what, what are you doing? Why are you sniffing the bed? Just go to the toilet. Oh yeah, you guys said, oh, gosh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> They'll be fine. I need to make a cake. We're gonna make a, no, that's cheese. <laughs> make a wheel of cheese, we're gonna make a white cake. Uh, Rye, can I get you to uh, add laundry to the washing machine maybe? I'm gonna just drag the rest of this in as well. Because I'm using, I think yeah, we're using cloth diapers, right? Um, you guys suggested you can actually, instead of having a bin attached, you can actually attach, if you have laundry day stuff and you're using the cloth diapers, if you attach a, a hamper, the cloth diapers will automatically go in here. So I'm gonna try that. Although I guess I don't know if we'll change them on there as toddlers, but whatever, we'll, we'll try it. All right, I need you to uh, wash the laundry, please. Did we leave any laundry out? We did, okay. <laughs> it's clean, dry, and warm. There you go, let's put that away. All right, so we're just waiting for that um, cake. There it is. $660 on my day off, sweet. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this cake here in the kitchen, you know, as we do. Add some birthday candles. Oh no, the washing machine's broken. <laughs> Oh, dang it. We're gonna need to wake everyone up. So, Alder and Ash wake up Aspen. God, these names. I'm gonna get so confused in these names. <laughs> All right, okay, Koji's gone to bed. All right, Koji. All right, here we go. It's birthday time. All right, time to age up. We did not get nearly as many milestones for these guys. Uh, you know, they're gonna be the middle children because we're definitely gonna have more kids. Uh, all right, you've aged up. They earn a bonus trait. What do we get? Top notch. You know what? Top notch. So we did do good. We did well. And you're going to be a charmer. Yay. Oh my gosh. All right. We're going to change that outfit. <laughs> All right. Right. Also earned $402 on the day off. All right. And then help blow out candles. Aspen. Uh, oh, not. What's happening? Oh, Quinn. Quinn stole them. No, 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 no. Oh. Gosh, okay, no, they've swapped, okay. Oh, okay, that toddler is sleeping there. Okay, we're gonna need to also upgrade these beds. Move out to toddler bed, please. Yay, and you also got top notch event. And, oh, you're also a charmer. Alrighty, yeah, just go upgrade these beds. And the other kid, Ash is crying in their bed right now. Yeah, look, it's a rough life we live here. <laughs> As you guys got school tomorrow, right? So, have you done your homework? It's homework time. <laughs> All right, we're just here whacking away this kid sleeping in between. <laughs> Dunk, dunk, dunk. Uh, yes, a few more hits of this. That should do it. There we are. <laughs> yep. Let me just, why, why won't this side come off? <laughs> All right. 
Good job, guys. Oh, you're doing a little reading? Oh, no, you're doing a homework right now. Wait, are you helping, Rai? Is that what's happening right now? You can help with homework. Hello's bed's coming along. These take a really long time to convert. Dislikes and you this. Yeah, sure. All right, so whose bed was this again? This is uh, Aspen. All right, uh, who are you? You're older. All right, actually, you are kind of hungry. Hang on, let me get some cake. Here you go, grab some cake. Yeah, that's nice and healthy. Uh, and then Quirk revealed. Loves wake up time. Okay, that's good. That is good, actually. You're hungry as well. Oh, wait, that's the other kid. Are you hungry? No, you, oh yeah, you definitely are hungry. Hang on, take a piece of that cake. There you go. All right, we're back to two toddlers. We've got two toddlers, two kids, three adults. Uh, we got this, we got this. So everyone's just gonna be eating cake for a while because that's all we can do. Oh my gosh, you are about to pee yourself. You gotta go to the toilet. Picky eater. Oh, right, you got it. Who are you? Aspen. Which bed was yours? This one. All right, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then you need to just go to sleep in that one. All right, you, look, you're toddlers now. You're on your own. I've done my bit. I can't be like holding your hand all throughout your life, you know? Right, these two kids are actually in a fantastic mood. Like, they're so happy. You know what? We could probably buy a TV now. We got like $3,000. Why don't we get, there was a suggestion just to sell this. Oh wow, this is not worth much anymore. I wonder if it's worth more if we repair it. If we just sell it and then we could do, we could do like one of the combo unit TVs, like one of these, or like the wall mounted one maybe. Or we just do one of these ones, I guess. Although I don't think that color really goes. Let's just get one of these, keep it simple. It's a lot of money. I know that was like $2,000, but I feel like we're, we're making pretty good money now. I was gonna say, if the kids wanna like watch a movie, let's watch Lost Dog's Journey Home. There you go, give you something to do. Now, Rai, what do you gotta do again? You gotta do comedy routine. No, comedy level six and you have to, for your aspiration to do comedy routines, okay. Write and perform routines. Don't we need a, do we need a computer for that? Yeah, so we gotta go here, continue my routine. All right, Koji, you gotta do, reach level two gourmet cooking. Okay, well, you're super tired, let's go to bed. All right, toddlers taking care of themselves, which is good. Things are going flawlessly. Oh, look at this. Let's watch this movie. Oh no, the cat's here. The, is the cat gonna, uh oh. The cat's gonna check. Oh no, the dog left the house. No. <laughs> this is so cool. I, you know what, I could just, maybe we should just do a video of me sitting here watching these movies. All right, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be watching Lost Dog's Journey Home. Oh my gosh, we're like in a temple. I like how low quality this is. Oh my gosh, there's a mummy. Ah! Poor dog, look at it. All right, let's, I do find that very interesting. All right, Koji is sleeping. You're doing that, let's, uh, well, yeah, let's just fast forward here a bit. Do also need to clean this house at some point. It is pretty bad. And play dolls together? That's kind of cute. Oh, I guess we don't need infant mats anymore, do we? I'll just put them in my inventory because we're gonna have more babies. Oh yes, and the other suggestion of something I should actually get is the keepsake boxes. So these are new and growing together. Now, yeah, so this actually requires an elder to, so I think what I'm gonna do, I guess I'll have to go, hang on, let's let's do that. I, I wanna do that. So I'm gonna go manage worlds, save and go to manage worlds. We're gonna go to Sydney, cause Sydney is the only elder really that we could use. Cause obviously Reginald and Kevin, Queen and Rai's grandparents are not elders cause they're <laughs> immortal. So, and obviously their parents aren't elders either. So we're gonna have to go to Sydney here, which actually we can see how long Sydney has left to live. All right, oh, this is kind of sad. It's that big, the Price family home. Still decorated for their kids. Uh, and yep, there's, that was Hillary's room right there. That's Forrest's room, which is still a kid's room and he is an adult. Oh no. Uh, Sydney is not long for this world. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Not long for the world, unfortunately. Um, I don't even know, do I have time to get a keepsake box? Which one are we gonna pass out through the generations? Let's have a look. We've got, you know, we've got this one. That's a little much, I think. Whoa, that's not a keepsake box. Or this one, I guess, right? So these two. Kind of a little boring though, isn't it? Maybe we should do this one. Because here's the thing. This is literally gonna now be passed down through every single Let's Play. So this is an important decision. I think we gotta go this one, just cause I feel like I could easily lose this in my house. I could be in a shelf and I'd forget about it. I feel like this is quite, this, this is quite something. Okay, so designated. Uh, then, how do I, you know, so if I open it. Do I have anything I can actually put in that? No. <laughs> do we have anything in this house? I don't think there's really anything custom in this house. Like we don't have any photos or anything here. So now, I think I'm gonna have to visit and give it to them. I, I think is how that works. Actually, I wonder, can I give it to Brianne first? Although they're not directly related. I guess that might not work. All right, let's just give it. Well, I wonder if I have to give it to Hillary. You know what, let's do that. So we'll give it to Queen and Rai's parents. Cause then they also have like some photos in the house that we can add to it. So we'll give it to Hillary, pass it down. <laughs> so Sydney's like, I got this. There's nothing in it, but I thought you could use it for the fam. All right, how do I give it to you? Entrust keepsake box. Here we go to Hillary. Okay, here Hillary, I'm entrusting that you, oh, it's got like a glow and everything. Yeah, I'm not long for this world. All right, Hillary has been granted access to all the family secrets held within the keepsake box. You can add it. Add to it over time as well. Um, Hillary, please, please don't leave me. I, 
give life lessons on family. Please, Hillary, d don't do what I did. Don't do what I did and live a full and happy life and, and not become a mortal. Please, Hillary, become a mortal. That's all I ask of you. And also, you know what? Pursue your dream job. I can't, what, what job does Hillary have again? I've forgotten. Let's ask it. Hillary, please, don't waste your life. Oh, strict? No, I'm not strict, I'm dying. I'm dying of old. Although I appreciate you're interested in the, it's been one of those days I'd prefer to talk about something else. Okay, all right, so. Sydney just got rejected. All right, now let's swap households. All righty, so now Hillary has the keepsake box and some dirty laundry. And we have some photos around the house of our family. So that's not even in a frame. I think it's supposed to be, but some photos up here. I think we had extras as well, maybe in the household inventory. Let's see. Holy moly. All right, we got a lot of junk in here that we can pass down. I mean, quality items. All right, well, let's see what we got. We got Quinn and Rye and then the whole family in these photos. What was the one I had in here? I mean, I kind of like this one better. I feel like we should pass this one down. Oops. Uh, so I might actually pass that one down. And then maybe we could do, I mean, these are all kind of the same. All right, let's just get rid of these. Not rid of them, but no, nope. put them back in the inventory. Uh, what's this? Be yourself a Hillary. <laughs> what else do we have? But uh, Reginald. Wait, this is by this is Reginald's diploma. I don't know why we have that, but let's pass that down. We also have the gramophone from prom. Kind of wait, the rest of this is just random junk. All right, let's put this stuff in. So if I get this here, do I just like, oh, so wait, hang on, what? Hang on, wait, I can't move. Oh, wait, so this photo is not technically Hillary's. That's annoying. So I can't see it because I can't drag it. It's not technically my photo. Thank birth certificate. Put that in there. And I can't for some reason put the Reginald's diploma in there. I mean, I guess also it's the same kind of thing. It's not mine, right? Yeah, I do not own this item. And I guess that's the same as this. I do not own this item. I The way I can fix this, hang on. Right, over here at Brienne's place, what I'm gonna do while I'm here also, I'm gonna create, um, let's get a copy of like this photo on top of the mountain. I think that would be a great one to share. Or maybe this one, let's do the vertical one. Yeah, I like these two. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say create a copy. Oh, hang on. No, Brienne I'm gonna use. So create a copy and create a copy. Let's get those two specifically. Yeah, they're both in here. Yeah, those two. I have a lot of other spare ones. I, this might get confusing, but let's try it. All right, it is 1 a.m. I'm a little concerned. They're not gonna let me in. Now 2 a.m. Hey, what's up? All right, hey, that's my photo. So what I'm gonna do is if I, wait, can I just drag it in? If I put it in here, now I say friendly, give a gift. Oh no. Can I not choose? All right, hang on. We're gonna have to, Hillary, I hope you don't mind. I have to dump some photos out in your wall. So this one is the one we wanna keep. So we get that. Okay, and then those two. All right, so now I know exactly which photos I'm gifting. So now we just go friendly gift. I'll just choose that. And that should just give her one of them at least. And then I'll just do it again. Here you go. That one's for you. Yeah. And then do it again. Uh, okay, or not. There you go. I'll give you this one. I'm officially giving you these photos. I know you've had them in your house for a long time. Look, there's another one over there, but uh, officially yours. And there you go. And I guess, you know what? While I'm here, I'll give you this one too. Just so it's actually yours. Hey, new personality trait. Ah, uh, yes, please. Friendly. Let's go. All right, there you go. All right, so now Hillary should have all those. So does that mean I can gift Hillary this diploma? All right, so back at, this is Reginald and Kevin's house where Addison and Brienne grew up. So this is our Sims in the current Let's Play's grandparents or our children's great grandparents house. Now I just gotta check, I, I don't really remember, is there stuff here that I would wanna give down? Make sure that like any, any special things specifically. We could get them, actually, do you have any of your knit stuff left over? <laughs> the Forsaken sweater. Uh, well, stuff I'm gonna give them for their keepsake box, not necessarily to just have, so. Like I, I'm not gonna give them potions and stuff. This stuff is gonna be in the box, it's meaningful. Do I have, oh my God, wait, is that the book that we got famous off of? Yes, we, we gotta give them. So if you didn't see this Let's Play, this is the High School Years Let's Play. Um, and Reginald wrote this book, Hostess with the Mostess. It was a bestseller. And because he is a spellcaster, we cloned the book over and over and over and over and over again to make Reginald a global superstar. So we literally sold the book, the same book, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 times. We gotta put that in the keepsake box. We also have a death flower. Nice. So we'll definitely put that in. Um, anything in the bedrooms that was custom or is it? We do have like a, some photo, old photos of Brienne. Why don't we do this one? We'll take that with us. I have like 20 photos in here of random junk. Random photos of my kid. I guess I was just taking junk. All right, let's get rid of these. Oh, I don't think this can go in a keepsake box because it's not like a, this is actually a buy mode thing. We lost the original. I had to make a custom content version of our high school graduation thing. So that's not the real one. Oh, actually, don't we have a bunch of trophies? Yeah, what do we have here? Anything actually worth it? Some random, these are just trophies I bought though, isn't it? Did I actually win any of these? <laughs> oh, hang on, we've got some, uh, oh, hang on, here we go. So we've got the graduation portrait from university. These are just ones I bought. 
Uh, these are some career rewards, but I don't need those. All right. Hey guys, it's 2.50 in the morning, but I got some stuff for the keepsake box. Uh, yeah, this is a, definitely a little bit of a tan more of a tangent than I thought we were going to take. I kind of thought Brienne would still be here. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got to put these in the box too. The two paintings that Addison and Brienne painted. They painted these together at the same time. Oh, there's so much good stuff we can put in there. All right. Well, I need to take this view, put an inventory. Yeah, let me, let me grab that. I, I don't know if I can gift it, but I will if I can. All right, I got some gifts. Well, I didn't even know you. That's not true. I, I think at some point the game forgot we know each other because we definitely should know each other. Go through the gift giving process. There we are. Oh, I can give my diploma. Yeah, that's going in the keepsake box. Hang on, there's my diploma, officially yours. Enjoy. And my graduation photo as well. And finally, you need a copy of my bestseller. There we go, hostess with the most. I know you guys are going to want, all right, you guys. <laughs> All right, so the good news is I should actually own all this stuff now. So in theory, if I open this, I can just put all this stuff. Wait, I still can't put that in there? Oh, I can put photo. Okay, the diplomas just do not go in there. That's a shame. But photos we can definitely put in, which is great news. Oh, and our graduation photo and bestseller. Yeah, so that's a shame. We still can't put this in, but I guess this will just be on the wall of our house. <laughs> now, actually, what I should probably do is these photos. Well, this one was over here. I, I should probably just create a copy of them so I have it as well as it being on display, you know? There we go. So we can still have them in there and also in the house. All righty, so this box, put in my inventory. There we are. Well, we're going to go gift it. Down through the generations. Now this, oh yeah, this 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 took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but I think this is going to be a really special box we're going to have through the family, and we can pass it down through the generations now, which I'm pretty excited about actually. And it means we can add the photos of the house because you guys were saying because I got all these photos of a house in our household inventory, but we really should if we add the keepsake box. That means you know three or four, five Let's Play series from now, we'll still have it in this box, you know, assuming it doesn't glitch out in that time. It may very well do that. You're just painting at 5 a.m.? Very nice. Um, Quinn, I have this for you. Only an elder sim- Oh, wait, I can't even do it until you're an elder? Okay, well, I guess I didn't need a rush. Oh my gosh, 42 days. All right, here's the other thing. I, I've actually been pondering this, and you can let me know in the comments down below. But my aging settings in the game right now uh, are every sim that I've never played will automatically age up. So just any random townie, they'll age up, they'll die. New ones will move in, all that kind of stuff. My household that I'm currently playing in will automatically age. Any household that I've played in the past will not age at all. So that means Addison and Hillary will not age unless I go there and play the family. Same with Kevin and Reginald and all my other families. Now I have been thinking specifically because of this Let's Play that maybe we should auto age played sim. That means my sims from previous Let's Plays will automatically age in the background. They'll age up and you know, die. Although Kevin and Reginald shouldn't because they've got the immortality thing. I don't know if that will bug out, but we'll see. Now, the reason I've been thinking about that is, well, because of growing together and this, you know, the keepsake box. Also, it means we don't end up in a situation where we have like five generations all at young adult age, you know, and it means that I don't have to go through and do all that. The reason that I normally don't have that on, yes, is because especially if I'm doing multiple Let's Plays where I change households, I don't want one household aging up while I'm playing the other one. But currently in this Let's Play, we're only in the one house. So maybe we just say yes. I want, to, I want to put it on yes for now and let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Basically, that means in 42 days, you'll eventually be an elder and we can eventually hand this box down, which yes is a long time. It's not really a problem because how long is that? Let's see, uh, you, here we go. In summertime, near the end of summer, you know, it's what, one, two, three, four, five, six in-game weeks. Which, yet yeah, it is a long time, but it means we'll have time for the family to grow up and age and have more kids. <laughs> so it might work out for the best. All right, we're back with the actual family that we're playing in this Let's Play. Now, we'll, we'll play, I think, today, and then we'll end up this episode, because I feel like there, there's been a lot sort of going on. But what I want to do, uh, Koji, can you do some gourmet cooking? Because we got to build up that skill for your job. Let's do a pasta primavera party size. We'll get some food for everyone. These kids have school today. They're in a pretty good mood. Toddlers are going to sleep. Queen is finishing that painting. She started, oh, hello. Since we're family, it'd be really nice if I could move in with you. I mean, I'm kind of down to be honest, though it's kind of sad because it means Addison doesn't live here. Uh, yes. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, oh, what are we going to do? Because you know, we can't do nine Sims. Oh, I really, maybe I need to get MC Command Center. We move it up to nine household members. Have <laughs> them move in. No, you know what? Maybe we I don't know. I don't need another sim in here. You know, I, I don't. Look, I wanted to say yes, but it just doesn't make sense. Look, you guys can have another stay over if you want. You're welcome to come stay here. 
Do you want to do that instead? We can just do an in, why don't we just do an indefinite stay over? Because I don't have to take care of them, you know? Here, here's what I'll do. You guys, come on over. You can come, let's do three nights. Let's not, don't ever say you're welcome. Okay, there, you yeah, there you go, you got your bag. So you guys can stay here. Addison's already assigned to the left side, so there you go. Assigned right side to Hillary. Uh, right, that's not your bed. Your bed's the treehouse. Which, by the way, we, we we definitely gotta build an actual tree house. I wanna build a tree house that we can actually, like, use and see inside of. Uh-oh, hate's bad time. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Hey, Hillary, are you able to, like, help? Can, can you, like, read me to bed or something? Bedtime story. Oh, why, why can't I get one from Hillary? Here we go. Hug lovingly. Aww. That's sweet. Now, can you read me bedtime story? <laughs> Do I have to say on them the, the ask for help? Well, hang on, let me walk on. Hey, Hillary, welcome. I'm sorry you couldn't move in officially, but you can stay here. Okay, ask to help out. There we go. Uh, do I have to do I always forget. Do I have to do it for both Sims? Welcome, Addison. All right, now that Hillary's helping out, can I say bedtime story? Yeah, there we go, from Hillary. Awesome, so now it does work. Oh, I'll say actually, you, no, you know what? Hang on, no, no, grab some food. Hey, Addison, welcome. Uh, also, do you mind helping out? Oh, yeah, it's kind of rough here. Okay, why are you carrying this? What is happening? Why, why, why did you, hey, Addison, do you mind helping out? All right, there's, there's so many Sims in this household. Okay, that's nice. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Our washing machine was broken. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, Anna is, oh no, I thought the toilet was broken for a second. All right, you guys have school soon? 32 minutes, yep. Okay, school soon, early riser, loves wake up time. Okay, that's pretty good. So Aspen not only is an early riser, but they also love waking up. That's pretty cool. Pretty happy stuff. Okay, uh, Quinn. You have work in two hours. Hey, Koji, do you reckon you could fix this? Okay, this kid needs to go to bed, this toddler. So I want to say, uh, no, 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 don't wake up. Do not wake up, uh, right. All right, bedtime story from Hillary. There you go. Cool, is this fixed? All right, you need to go to the toilet as well. Oh, whoops, wrong sim. No, no, don't, do not splash in the toilet. Koji needs to go to the toilet. Oh, wait, no, they don't. Never mind. <laughs> I was on the wrong sim. All right, Queen has got work in an hour. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, Willow is after school. Yeah, let's go. They're after school. Yeah, they're going. First day of school. All right, study well, kids. Study well. Does that count as a milestone, like first? How is that not a first? We need to get them bicycles too. What are you up to, kid? You're gonna go, don't, Rye is in the treehouse. They're gonna wake up Rye. Potty help, please, from Addison. I need help to go to potty. Uh, for some reason, I can talk like this right now. <laughs> Are you going to work? What's happening? Love's been carried. Okay. All right, so you're off to work, which by the way, you are pretty good. You, there's a potential for promotion, but I'm not going to make her work hard. She works hard enough as it is. Okay, you got work in five hours. You're good. You've got work in four hours. All right. All right, all right. Let's uh, fast forward here a little bit. Can I just move your suitcases to the bedroom? Oh, it's a friend's birthday. Everyone seems to be talking about birthday party that Ash wasn't invited to. Oh boy. He kind of thought the host was his friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should he ask his friend or let it go? Ask a friend, ask a friend. Well, that didn't go well. Ash only got a shrug for an answer and now his friend is actively avoiding him. Oh well, who needs a friend like that anyway? Speaking of friends, we actually need to make some friends. So what I'm gonna say is actually make friends at school, both of you, because we need to do a slumber party and we're gonna do that next episode. Speaking of next episode, I think we need a bit of money. I, I need to renovate more. I kind of the living room to be bigger because if we're doing a slumber party it might be nice to just we like shift all the bedrooms like that way a little bit more have a bigger living space that'd be really good and you've got the potty skill very nice very nice well done well done actually i'm gonna say food i want food from uh addison please put me in a high chair that that'll go well won't it how are you doing you're also oh no you're just tired that's fine all right let's see if this high chair works all right we're getting we're getting put in the high chair and there's my food here it is you give me are you giving me Potato chips? That's not food. Oh, did someone fix this? I didn't fix that, did I? All right, let's see how long it takes them to take me out of this thing. All right, I'm ready to get out now. Oh, that, you know what? That was pretty good. Oh wait, no, maybe I spoke too soon. Can I, can I be let out of this? Help, what? stop kissing. I know you love each other, but like, okay, can you take me out of this? Help, uh, take me out of this thing. Oh, coach is gonna work. Uh, yes, we will go to work. Thank you, jeez, all right. But, oh, mail. Oh, I think this might be it. No, 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 no. Why does this guy always come into my house? Get out of, don't walk in there prancing like this. Like their little prancy walk too is just so ins Get out of my, this. I can't even ask them to leave. Who is calling me at this hour? Food fight. Willow started a food fight in the cafeteria. What a natural leader, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna have to introduce, I, I can only respectfully introduce myself. What, no, what, why? Addison, what did you do that for? Get me out of this thing. Don't put me back in it. And get out of my toddler's room. <laughs> get out of here. Go away. Do I have to lock this door? What, what, get out of my house. Stop. <laughs> it's going in that room. Get out of my toddler's room. What are you doing? Leave. Why does this mailman intrude in my house? Do you, 
what are you what are you doing? Why are you talking to yourself in this room and swearing? Have they added an ability to lock doors for like because I, I I want my house guest to, there's no option for like stay over guests. Because I want this guy get out of my house. Why are you using my toilet? Alright, so everyone is at work at school except for Addison and Hillary. It's actually kind of convenient having you guys here. Okay, we've got a C and a C. Did we get any milestones for our first day of school? Um we did actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's nice. No first C milestone. Okay, you are extremely tired. And so are you. But you could probably use a shower. Go to sleep. Oh, go to sleep. So I'm gonna get you to shower and then you can go to sleep too. Okay, now the mailman is going up to my tree house too. What is with this mailman? Why do they just enter my house? Okay, they're playing Oh yeah, I forgot to put the guitar up there. They're playing my guitar on my treehouse. Can you, can you just not? Okay, both kids are asleep. Um, you know, the toddlers are sleeping in here. You guys don't need to have a big conversation in here. What is the obsession with this room? I've got- Oh my gosh, the house is dusty. Does someone want to vacuum that or do I have to do that? <laughs> I really should get going now. Yeah, you should! 280 bucks, Spice Festival. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, Quinn. Um, I, I guess just go to sleep because you're, you're pretty tired actually. And also, only Koji has a vacuum, I think. So, I'm gonna make- Oh, Kevin? Uh, Spice Festival. No, 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 no. I'm a little, I'm a little preoccupied right now. Oh yeah, did we make any friends at school? Uh, like meet anyone? No. Literally, you did not meet anyone. What about you? You did not eat. Right, we met no one at school. <laughs> the slumber party plan's going well. 660 from work. Welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna need you to vacuum, please. Go, okay, nice and clean. Right, I'm gonna need you to work on your gourmet cooking skill as well. So let's do another gourmet cook. Let's do a tortilla wrapped hot dog. 402 from Riot Work, well done. And you just have to do comedy level six still. So I guess we'll just keep working on comedy, right? Ash started a food fight in the cafeteria. Um, it's 8 p.m., but sure. All right, speaking of 8 p.m., I'm gonna leave this here because, well, you are stinky and hungry. We got the grandparents staying over. We've got a little bit of money. Um, we So next episode, we definitely need Willow and Ash to make friends <laughs> so we can have some friends around for a slumber party. They don't know anyone. Maybe we should go somewhere. Maybe we could go to like somewhere to meet some kids, go to the park or something. Um, also, oh, the nice, excellent painting out there. So yeah, we have a bit of cash. So let me know what you think about maybe expanding the living room a bit. Cause I think if we're gonna have a slumber party, we need more like room. Just like space for it. But until then, I will leave this part here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I think next episode as well, maybe I will continue with Quinn, maybe just trying to read the herbalism skill. Maybe we'll, we should probably also plant the berries and stuff. We kind of, we probably need like a greenhouse or something at some point. Not right now, because that would be a waste of money. Um, but we'll at least maybe grow them undercover. We could put like a, a porch roof or something. Or even actually if we do some little pots out the front here, we could just grow them on the front porch. That could actually be quite nice. Just having a few like garden pots on the front here. Maybe we'll do that. But like I said, until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave a comment, suggestion, and feedback down below. I asked quite a few questions this episode. We have the aging question. We have the house expansion question. We have potentially other questions. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.